This video is going to look at inequalities in one triangle, and that includes the triangle inequality theorem. This ties in geometrically to what we've been learning about solving inequalities. Take a minute and look at properties of inequalities. This should be a review. Make sure that you understand them. This video is a little different than some of the others I've done because there are a lot of practice problems. I'm going to assume, like on this slide, that you're going to pause the video as you need to to be able to work through the practice problems, copy down notes, and make sure that you understand what you're doing. So let's move on. Exterior angle inequality. Now you actually know or should be intuitively knowing this result. This says that the measure of the exterior angle of the triangle is greater than the measure of each of its remote interior angles. Now angle BCD is the exterior angle on this triangle. An exterior angle forms a linear pair with one of the angles of the triangle. The two Green, the two other angles, A and B, the green one and the blue one, are remote interior angles. We know that the exterior angle is the sum of the two remote interior angles, which means, of course, that the exterior angle would have to be greater than each of those two remote interior angles. Okay, so here I want you to use that exterior angle inequality theorem we just talked about to identify all the angles that are less than angle 1 and then name all angles greater than um, angle 3. Remember, pause your video, take care of what you need to, and then come back. Okay, so here's the answer to part A. I'll give you a minute to look at it. And here's the answer to part B. All right. Now, what about angle side relationships and triangles? If we have a triangle, the largest angle is opposite the longest side, and the smallest angle is opposite the shortest side. So take a look at it, triangle ABC here. Angle B is the largest angle. The side opposite it is the side that has um, endpoints on the sides of the angle. So side AC is the largest side. Looking at this same triangle, look at angle A. Angle A is the smallest angle. The side opposite it is, ang is side CB, and it's going to be the shortest side. So how do we use that? Well, because we know the larger, the longer side is opposite the larger angle, or conversely, the smaller side is opposite the smaller angle, if you look at this triangle, you see that because yz is less than xy, we know that angle x is less than angle z. In the same way, looking at this triangle, because um, angle j is greater than angle k, we know that kz is greater than jz. Okay, so here's a problem for you to look at. List all the angles from smallest to greatest. And here's the answer. Here's another problem for you. List the sides from shortest to longest. Here's the answer. And one more. List the angles in the sides of the triangle in order from smallest to largest. Here's the answer. Okay, so one more question. Why is angle ACD greater than angle ABC? Well, you'll have to look carefully at this one. And here's the answer. And take a look at this question. And here's the answer. Now, the triangle inequality theorem. This 
triangle inequality theorem says that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the length of the third side. I want you to think about why that has to be true. Here's a picture. So if I add any two sides of a triangle, it has to be more than the third side. So is it possible to have a triangle with side lengths of 15, 16, and 30? Here's the answer. You look at any two pairs of sides, and you have to check all three pairs. You'll notice that they're all greater than the third. How about if I have a triangle with side lengths of 2, 8, and 11? In this case, it's not true because 2 plus 8 is not greater than 11. Notice I don't have to check all three in this case. I only have to provide a counterexample. Okay, so this question is an important type of question that you'll see quite frequently, um, and it brings in those ideas of inequality. So what are the possible side lengths for the missing side in the triangle below? In order to solve this, we need to remember that the triangle inequality theorem says that the sum of two sides of a triangle is going to always be greater than the third. So we, we need to form and solve three inequalities, looking at each pair of sides. So the first pair I'm going to look at is 5 plus x is greater than 9. In solving that, I get x greater than 4. The second pair was 5 plus 9 is greater than x, which means 14 is greater than x, or reversing it, x is less than 14. And the third pair is 9 plus x is greater than 5 which gives me x greater than negative 4. Since I can't have negative quantities in, in, in sides, we're going to say that that one is not possible. But you always need to look at all three pairs because that's not always going to be the case that one of them isn't possible. Okay, since only conditions 1 and 2 are possible then, we know my solution, the range of side lengths for the triangle, are between 4 and 14. So I can say x is greater than 4 and x is less than 14, or that um, x is between 4 and 14. So I'll try this problem. And the answer is d. And that's because if I take 9 plus 13, that equals uh, 22. It's not greater than 22. OK. So just some closing thoughts. There really is a lot to remember here. But actually, most of it is common sense. And there's only a few actual relationships. It's just we did a lot of problems to go with it. Make sure you always sketch a picture if they don't show you one, because it'll make it easier for you to follow what's going on. And remember, these relationships we're talking about relate sides and angles in only one triangle. Even if you have two problems, two triangles in the problem, there's only one triangle that you're looking at. So be careful about that and make sure that you're focusing these particular relationships just in one triangle. Okay, that's it for right now. We will have some practice problems for you. If you have any questions, be sure to see a math teacher near you.